right then, tower block reviews, and this time we have a really unusual and interesting building. This is Fulfield House at West Ferry, and this is a block of masonettes. So each flat has two floors, and there's actually five layers of masonettes here, with the top main floor being the ninth floor. The top layer of the masonettes is the tenth floor, and the plant room is on the eleventh floor. And the architecture and design of this building is so unusual and interesting. The ground floor is absolutely nothing there. It's like the whole building is on stilts with the ground floor just being open and empty. That is so unusual. And what makes it even more unusual is the building is not the same throughout. The first two layers of masonette, so it's from the first floor up to the fourth floor, because remember masonettes have two floors, these are just regular masonettes with a walkway just on the main lower floor of the masonettes. And you have like a double height ceiling in the lifts area. On the top three layers of masonettes, that's the fifth floor up to the tenth floor, there's an additional walkway to serve the upper floors of the masonettes. Why do I have that? This walkway is completely private with a locked door, so members of the public can't walk on it. And to get to his masonettes, you can only get on the lower main floor of the masonettes. So why do they put a walkway on the upper floor? The lifts don't even stop there. It's so unusual. So we visit these blocks in the night time, and the lifts here are some old lifts modernised in the 90s. And one of the lifts is currently in the process of being replaced, and it's almost finished its replacement. So let's get on with this video. Very unusual. Yeah, it's this on stilts, the entire building. It's this being lifted up by these concrete stilts. Shutters on the bin. And along we go to the door. The door is a mon door. Thornfield House, 11 floors. And as we come in, we've got some original tiling. Very original tiling. Concierge used to live there, not anymore. The empty yeah, tower Hamlet's pod cameras. It's leaking. Actually, this building looks in such a bad state. They have not looked after our building at all. Is there a fire engine? Yeah, no. a fire engine. You've got a fire engine, the fire engine lights up. Wait, and one of them's being modernised. Yes, yeah, that's yeah. what, 90s oh, yeah. mod. And there's two of these, let's try this one. So that's a 90s mod. That one's for oh, replacement. Yeah. You can't put your key in that, they've actually blocked it up. There's like a wall, like a... In this block, these particular old lifts were pretty bad. As you can see, it looks like it looks nice, but they were very unreliable. Old lift, modernised in the 90s. That's a brand new lift, hasn't finished being installed. Oh, can you smell that? Yum, yum. Oh, it stinks of weed in here. Elite. That's a rare Thames Valley voice. We are on the top floor, the ninth floor, we have two lifts, and we've got this little area up here. Interesting, this is Masonettes, and this block's particularly unusual because. Lift stop every two floors, one, three, five, seven, nine. And then up there, we've got this weird little area, but every floor's like this. As we can see down there, that's the sort of streets in the sky look if we look up this way. And this guy's unusual masonette design. So every two floors is a main floor, and in between, we have masonette only floors. And if we go up here, the lift is, no, it's not yet installed. So we found the lift with the stop pressed in. I don't like the way it jumps up before it goes down. See, the lift does not stop at floor eight, because floor eight is a masonette only floor. See, it's very clean looking. Let's take a look at the old lift next, and we'll have a comparison. Got a laser for pre-doors. It's Thames Valley. Oh, yeah, lift moving. Actually, yeah, yeah, always. Different to normal, not seen it quite like that before. So if we pull it out, it's maintenance control. Okay. That is my favourite Thames Valley message. Maintenance control. That's by far my favourite Thames Valley announcement, it's so funny. So this is the ninth floor, but that's the 10th floor, which is the service area. But before we look at the service area, we're going to go to the first floor and take a look at the masonette layout with double masonettes. Oh fuck, it stinks in here, come on. Oh, no. Never heard that voice and then nothing about it. I don't know about that voice, I've heard it once before I think. Let's take a look at the older lift, the original lift modernised in the 90s. Benny, Benny and Special Control. This is floor one of this masonette tower. Floor two is the upper level masonette, it's three is the next main floor because we're on double level masonettes. Two lifts, the old lift and the new lift. Original doors over there, those doors, there's wet paint on it. But if we look up there, extra turn in the stairwell because we go up two floors. And we've got a nice high ceiling. This is one thing about these masonette blocks, which I like. 
you get these spectacularly high ceilings, which looks very nice. You come out here, and the architecture is different on this floor to the top floor, because we've got, look, these pillars going across on the top floor. The masonettes come out at the top floor, so I get an extended area. On these ones, the upper floor of the masonettes is in. It doesn't fill up the whole space. I mean, you get this very double floor look to the building. So each floor, you get this extra pillar across, because each floor is actually two floors, so you get a light on the pillar. Over there, we have Canary Wharf. I just really like this block and how odd it is. And this is just, this block's fascinating. Down here you've got some original glass from 1970s when the block was put in. You have the old buttons. Push button in direction you want to travel. So you press button, new button only has down. That's rubbish. Look, that's rubbish. New lift, not finished being installed. Ugh, the old lift. Nicer, but this thing's a wee. Don't reckon I've had it for somewhere before. Floor 5, if you look up, has the extra walkways for the upper entrances to the masonettes. So you see up there, you get this extra walkway for the upper floors of the masonettes on floor 5, with the upper floor being floor 6. So floor 9 of your floor 10 has this corridor, floor 7 of your floor 8 has this corridor, but some of the lower floors don't have the corridor. View on the outside to show this. So ground floor's there, where it's on stilts. Floor 1, first floor of masonettes, but I don't have the walkways on floor 2, which is the upper floor of floor 1's masonettes. Floor 3 and floor 4 are the same, but the architecture from 5 upwards is different architecture. Notice the extra walkway, so that there, floor 5, that's your main floor for masonettes. The floor 6 is the upper floor, that's not a main floor, it's no walkway for the public there, but it's a little, like, fire exit private walkway. This is floor 4 here, which is the upper floor of floor 3. We don't have the extra walkways. So these lower masonettes don't have the walkways on their upper level. So on this floor, the extra high ceiling, the masonettes are different. These lower floors have different architecture to the upper floors. It looks like the whole block's the same, but it's not. Floor eight, floor eight. Interestingly, this looks like this. And from here, this door and in here, Sun's been sleeping in here. Hmm. And now on floor nine, we're gonna go up floor 10, the service area, which is top secret. So we go to floor 10. Normally the secured doors hit above the staircase, but on this block, the secured doors at the top of the staircase, which means you often get a homeless person sleeping up here. That's why the only secured doors there are moved to down there to stop people sleeping up here. Now people must be smoke and take drugs up here probably. And here's the door. Now open the door. So we now got in to the service area. Here's floor 10, the service level. So here's floor 10, the service area. And as always, service area floors are the most interesting floors of any block of flats. Because grid here so people can't climb. You have to be a good climber to get from most lifts down there up to here. But they put on these grids at some point because people are obviously climbing up here. And that goes up to the other floors of the maze nets in there. Actually, you've got several doors here. Which door should we try first? This one. Sorry, every store first. And it's open. And this one oh. is where I store their paints. Oh, oh no, this is the one with the ladder. So that one has the ladder to the service area. Before we go to the service area, we're going to check out the other doors. So first, we're going to try this door. So that's the service area door. Up to floor 11. Then this one here. This looks a bit fucked. Now, with those two doors, we'd look at this third door. What's through this third door? Let's go to the balconies. But this is so interesting because if, if you remember back down on like level one's masonettes, the upper floor didn't have this out of the upper level to the masonettes. Quite nice, we didn't have this fucking peakage. Yeah, these ones must be premium. These masonettes must be more premium than the others. In this set of masonettes, usually in masonettes, the upper floor, the top floor is like your service area. So this is floor nine is your top floor, floor ten or double upper service area. In this one, floor ten is the upper floor of the masonettes, meaning your service area is right up on floor eleven. Oh wow! That is squeaky! Actually, it does rather. They're probably growing mosquitoes. That's it. Put it in, take. Those fans sound really weird, especially the fire mode fan. So if there's a fire, the fire mode fan does not work. The normal fan works, but a fire mode fan doesn't work. Look at that trap door and this counterweight. Oh, very creepy. We go along here, we've got lots of water tanks. We go down here, 
and we have the motor room. Oh my god, it's unlocked. How did that happen? And here's your motor room. Oh, in the middle of modernisation. Oh wow, this has changed. When I was last here. Oh wow. No, that's not your new motor. So that's your old one. That's your old lift modernised in the 90s. But hold on, I've never seen this before. What, what is, is that this? motor? You've got a server. What for? I don't know what to look at first. Let's take a look at the old motor first. That's the old motor. So that's your old lift. Now here's the new lift in this motor. Oh, what is that motor? Oh, that is so weird. And it's the Thames Valley, yet yeah. <coughs> maintenance control. Thames Valley. It's not really very interesting. Thames Valley in the process of being installed. Well, that motor's really interesting. I've never seen that motor before. It's an MRL motor. They're using it as a motor room. But it's an MRL motor. That is so weird. And here's your old motor. Let's take a look at the old logic. And your old logic looks like this. Zetadine VF. There it goes. Big Zetadine VF with very early VF. Looks like a boiler is so big, but it's actually just a VF. That's your old logic. It doesn't look that wonderful. It's quite old. It's like a very early 90s mod. The screen does not work to this logic, which means all the time it works is fine. But as soon as there's a fault, they don't know what the fault is. That's probably why they're replacing it, to be honest. Mm -hmm. 1.2, that's an unusual speed, and 1.7. Old motor, but by far that's the most interesting thing, that new motor. I've never seen that new motor before. There's no equipment in here original from the 70s, sadly. You've got 90s equipment and modern equipment. Well, actually, no, this motor's probably original, but everything else. This is probably the only thing from the 70s is the motor itself, by Zolderbeg. Two transformers. Why is there two, not one? So, the classic Thames Valley maintenance control voice is not actually part of the Thames Valley unit, it's part of this add-on unit, which... Some original windows here at the back of your motor room, a hole to let in air, loads and loads of towers and tower hamlets. You've got this here to winch up your new motor through the hatch. And that's about it for this motor room. It's got a server here for the CCTV cameras. Yeah. The roof's up here. They've got my phone. I don't know what kind of... Oh, interesting. Oh, very nice. That is the roof. Canary Wharf's up there. That's West Bay Station. And over here, got Canary Wharf. Don's like railway train. So, that is pretty much everything for this block, which means it's drone time. The drone is ready to start. Please drone. Oh, that is impressive. It is, yeah. Here it comes the tree. Yeah, the drone is coming to Canary Wharf. One can to square. Actually, that does look good. HSBC, that, that is good. And now the drone is going to go for flight. And that's the end of looking around this tower block. Enjoy the drone's flight. <laughs>